just slightly short, smashed away. Is he going to race away all the way to the line? Just slowing up. Gets to the rope. Four runs. First boundary of the innings. Oh, that one's lifted high, high, high. And carries the rope just by a metre or two. Six runs. Picked up beautifully. Thought he might have got under a little bit. But safely away to the rope. As you can see, he doesn't pick his bat up too highly, but he just held his shape, full face to the bat, and he's just deposited that straight over long off for six and a great start, much to the satisfaction of his of his colleagues in the pavilion. Oh, short pulled away, great shot. Zips away to the boundary rope. Tim Murdoch's obviously after the, the last ball of the previous over was, was hit back over his head for six, so naturally he's dragged his length back and Sharjee Khan is hanging on the back foot and has deposited that to the square leg boundary. Oh, that's picked up beautifully, saw that early. Again driven away, that's a beautiful shot and it's four more. Races over the rope, that long arm, ten off three balls. Sharjee Khan getting after Barry McCarthy. Six overs gone, 28. Taking that test again. Oh, at the moment, bowlers are taking a test against this man, Shajin. Oh, this looks so good. And that's his 50. What a 50. It came in no time. Two sixes, six boundaries. Pakistan are 77 for one after that enormous six from Shajil. Grounds here in, pa in, in Pakistan, in Ireland, aren't big enough for Shaji Hill. Once you come into his slot, he really does hit the ball really cleanly. He's look Oh, it's a top edge. Is it going to carry? One bounce. Not just unable to get around. A little bit of a let off. So he's going to swing, swing hard away. Bit of a chance, maybe. That John, yes, it was a bit of a chance, just got a little bit high on him, got it high on the bat. Not surprising seeing that he's a fairly tall bowler. Well, that side edge, four more. They've taken out the slip for Chase, races away to the boundary, second four. A bit streaky there by Shajil get it that fine just to see how they play against Chasey he's fairly tall so he'll extract that bounce from just short of the length which is going to pin the batsman back into the crease he's not going to be able to get that stride into the ball uh, pulled away Murta's down there he cut that one off no he won't just too quick for Murta couldn't get down third four shake of the head from Peter Chase and this is a good over for Pakistan after the drinks break. This went through, got a second ODI 50, pushing into the 60s. Pulled away, big hit. Oh, carries the rope, got onto that one early. going to check which side of the rope had bounced. The grand staff down there were pretty quick to signal the six. He is very, very impressive. On pull the shot is the best way I can describe it. Oh, he goes big. That's into the crowd. Massive hit by Shahjil Khan. That was all timing. Doesn't over hit it, allows the ball to come to him and just a flick of the wrist. And off it goes. Short pulled away again. Too high for the fielder. It safely carries the advertising hoarding. Another six for Shahjil Khan. First we saw timing and now we saw power. Great timing. He's been so hot on this shot all day.
just back of a limp, swivels around, gets it straight over the deep square leg's head. 23 runs off the over, 21 gone, it's 136 for two. Short pulled away again, too high for the fielder, safely carries the advertising hoarding, another six for Shargil Khan. First we saw timing and now we saw power. Great timing, just back of a limp, swivels around, hits it straight over the deep square leg's head. 23 runs off the over, 21 gone, it's 136 for two. Straight down the leg side a little bit, oh and there it is, misfield. Went past to Brian on the half volley. It was a tricky one to get. The hundred comes up for Shargil Khan. His teammates down to applaud him. <laughs> Great innings for Shargil Khan. His first ODI hundred. And his teammates delighted with him. Look what it means for Shargil Khan. And there's huge applause around the ground as well from all the Pakistan supporters here. Since century tickles it down the leg side. Bit of a misfield. Fourth fastest century in ODI cricket for Pakistan. We saw plenty of timing, power. They had everything. Great footwork against spinners. It looks a class act. But they just can't stop the boundaries coming. That is Shorji Khan's sick maximum. Takes the score on the 170 for two, and the Irish spinners are certainly under a huge amount of pressure and seemingly unable to stop the boundary. Seems to have it all power, timing, and placement. Oh, and a great catch in the crowd. Short ball, brought back and pulled over there, Joyce at Coy Corner for another maximum. End of the 28th over, Pakistan 198 for two. Magnificent shots from Sharjee Lakeem, picked up at this time maximum. And it doesn't matter if you bowl over the wicket or around the wicket. He is hot on that shot. He's got this great ability to just little forward press and just transfer a weight. And he allows his hands to get underneath the ball. And always seems to middle it straight into the crowd he's not making any attempt to actually keep that ball down no, sure he's not he's, he's actually just he's just getting under it and helping on us nice and high what he does is tries to get underneath the ball change of plan from kevin o'brien but not able to contain long off along go back with brought up square leg but offering that with he's just got the hands through the ball and the Pakistani supporters get Pakistan moves swiftly off double Nelson as Shargil moves to 152 the third fastest 150 in ODI history overtaking Luke Ronchi against Sri Lanka in 2015 third behind David de Villiers and Shane Watson